Alright, shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba Shem Yahweh Shai, Ba Shem Kakurash. Double honors to the elders and apostles that came as a millstone. And they sincere shalom to so Yahweh, bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. And we come another week out through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai to declare the downfall of this kingdom and what you call America, and to tell you people on this side, who you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and that you're the chosen people of the Heavenly Father. And that he's only coming back this time to save in a remnant of uh, 144,000, a 12,000 out of each tribe of men, and uh, one third, man. So now it's time. Hey, while he's near, the scripture says, call upon him while he's near. Call upon him while he is near. Seek him while he may be found, man. Hey, because what? According to uh, to Esau, man, he's doing a bunch of things. Hey, to establish his new world order, which means what? Hey, that you people are gonna be out on the streets. Hey, you're gonna be fighting, you're gonna be hungry, hey, you're gonna be dying of famine, pestilence, a hey, uh, race riots, hey, so forth and so on, man. So it's nothing but trouble, hey, coming to, uh, to your life, man. Hey, see, you American people are so uh, caught up in the folly that's happening, hey, you're not realizing the, 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 the dangers that's ahead, man. The scripture in Ezekiel tells you that what? Written within is lamentation, mourning, and woe. Meaning what? Death, death, and more death. So that's all that's coming. So knowing this, as the scripture says, uh, what's that, First Peter? Peter? Second Peter, Second Peter water. Hey, knowing that all these things should be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness, man? Because it's not about to get no better. The America you once knew will never come back, man. Hey, uh, your lockdown this time is going to be more severe and worse than the first. This is going to be, this may, may very well be the last lockdown, man. We're coming closer and closer into the MOTB. Hey, the 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 the, uh, the Kool-Aid, the jabs are being uh, more and more pushed to the public, making it mandatory for you to take it. So what? This devil is coming down, a hey, real fast. Go ahead, bro. It's like this is, uh, Ecclesiastes nine yep. and twelve. It says, "For man also knoweth not his time, as the fishes that are taken in an evil net, and as the birds that are caught in the snare. So are the sons of men snared in the evil time." When it follows suddenly upon them. It says, so are the men snared in an evil time when it falleth upon them. And the scripture, hey, the scripture broke it down into, uh, into the animal kingdom. Basically saying what? Like fish caught up in the net. Which means unawares. We can grab that too. Hey, because what happened? Hey, when, when, uh, when the fish are swimming in the ocean, the last thing they're thinking is that they're going to be caught, man. Why they may be swimming in schools. <laughs> hey, look at the, oh, the, shit, I'm caught. the movie Finding Nemo. Yeah. You know, for those, of, for those of you that seen it, what happened? Hey, Dory and uh, Nemo and Marvin, they was all swimming together with them tuna. Next thing you know, a net just came out of nowhere and swooped their ass up, man. And it's like, with the analogy of fishing is, they're, they're, a fish is looking for prey and thinks he found it when he's actually become the prey. You know? So it happens unaware. I said the fish or actually, you know, they see a worm or whatever the bait is, and they thinking they be they're thinking that's prey, but they're actually become the prey yeah. because they get caught up. Con, same thing in today's society, man. You don't understand that Esau is, is a, as we said last night, dangling the carrot before your face, yep. or in or in uh, today's um uh, instance, hey, he's telling you, hey, here goes a hundred dollars. You know, here goes here goes uh, some free fries with your burger. You know, here go here goes this free meal. And what do you niggas do, man? You go and believe this devil. Hey, you trust in him. Next thing you know, what happens? Hey, you're you're caught up in that same net. Can the brother grab a Isaiah 13, 12? Are there more in there, bro? It's time. It's Isaiah chapter 30, and verse 12. Wherefore thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because he despises his word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon, therefore this iniquity shall be to you. If I could say real quick, it's lucky, but. The problem that we don't understand with you people, particularly you Jakes, you want to live in this wicked ass place where you on the bottom, you got a slave and live check to check, and you're the one that's hit the hardest when anything in society moves, it hit, it affects you the hardest, the most negatively. Okay, this is this is the type of life you enjoy living in. This all this oppression and all this wickedness going on, all this unsurety, all this all this weakness and madness and, and blindness and. Just, just you know, un, un, no, no understanding of what's going on in the earth. No, no redemption from all the shit that our people have been through for thousands of years. This is what you you want to stay in this bullshit. 
because you trust in wickedness, as the scripture says. Okay. okay? That's why the 230 y'all won't understand this until after death by pain. You gotta go through 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 death by pain before you learn to appreciate what, what the Heavenly Father has set up for us and its glory in itself. Y'all think eating uh shellfish and all them pork and all that shit is, is delicacy and, and it's the best thing in life. Okay, you're not gonna understand what it's like until until the actual kingdom of heaven. Verse 13. Therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach. Did you read 12 already? Yeah. Read it again. Wherefore thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise his word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon, therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall. Yeah, in other words, you trusting in this, this devil rather than your maker yep. is actually iniquity. Mm -hmm. That's actually evil for you to consider the counsel of your enemy over your higher power. Mm -hmm. you'll, you'll run to him and trust him more than you'll trust the most high. And that's your problem. That's why the Lord's gonna allow this devil to get with you, man. You're gonna get caught right in, in those evil nets, those evil snares that he got set before you. Going right according, right along according to his, his plan, man. All right? You, you're so quick to run and get that damn uh, pharmacia potion, and now you don't even realize, you know, what's coming next. You don't even know what's coming down the pipe, man. And you all just got finessed, by the way. Yep. You was sitting, you was getting enchanted by that magic wand you call your know, mainstream media, you know, putting ideas into your head that, you know, if you, you get this uh this potion that you you know your your problems will all go away. You're protected. You, you'll be protected, you get your life back. <laughs> you know, they, they promised these things. They told you that for in, in the beginning of this. You don't have to wear that this you ain't gotta wear you ain't gotta you ain't gotta cover your face, yep. you know, with those muzzles. You'll be able to go and socialize you. <laughs> But now they're putting you in the same boat with the people that ain't got it. They're putting you in the worst boat, bro. Yeah, yeah. Seventy-three quarters to, to some of some uh, counties and cities and uh, states in the world, in America. I mean, they're telling you you're now in uh, I think it was uh, some small town, basically, one small, but a small county in uh, Massachusetts. Hey, you're a super spreader because you roll seventy-five percent of all the new cases of the Delta variant now that have. Uh, that and that's what you get for trusting in the, the fucking Kool-Aid. You yeah. bought the Kool-Aid and drunk it. The, trust, the, yeah. Trusting in the science. The trusting in the freaking science, man. The science that just keeps on changing. You know? It does. And it's ultimately because you're scared, man. And you're scared because why? Hey, because you, you ultimately cast away the knowledge of y'all by Shinal Shai and just trusted your enemy because it's, it's convenient for you, man. Because what? To, to, to look into what's actually happening, it takes a responsibility, man. And Jake don't want to pick up that responsibility. Wow. Responsibility. Yep. Uh, first Timothy, chapter 6, verse 20. Oh, Timothy, right. keep that which is committed to thy trust. Avoid profane and vain babbling and oppositions of science falsely so called. Yes. Hey, Falk is so called. Half of what Esau talk about is just a theory anyway. It's just a conclusion that he he came up with that he wants to share to the people to help push his, his, uh, his, um, his deceptive agenda out there. Yeah, kind. And exactly what's happening, he's telling you it's experimental. He's literally saying experimental. So that means you niggas are what? Part of the experiment. Whatever happens to you, those are the results. The people out there saying it's not, it's been out for for eight months or whatever, it's not experimental anymore. But do you see all the adverse conditions that come up after that, that they don't want to blame to that, but people that have been fully mm -hmm. drunken, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bro, still... these, these, peop these people, they, they, they all of a sudden, after they went, uh, undergo this operation, they're, they're experiencing adverse effects that they never experienced ever, ever. 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 They never had no issue, you know? Fully healthy. They were fully, completely functional, whole, healthy, healthy people. Yeah. They were whole before undergoing that operation. But yet, it's not tied to 
the, 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 the one common denominator. The common That's denominator. Right. The one changing their life. People yeah. getting Bell's palsy. Yeah. And then like, oh, you know, it, it was it wasn't this. This shit. Why didn't you have it two months before? Yeah, a guy. I did a video on a guy. Well, I didn't even do a video, but the article I mentioned in the video is like, um, he was healthy. A uh, father of five that was at the beach swimming and shit, and all of a sudden he got sunburned and it was severe, so he went to the hospital. You was healthy, swimming and everything before that. Now all of a sudden, you 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 came down with the pandemic, you know, on you, and now now you now you didn't now you died. Now he, now you did. Yeah. What's the common denominator? You went to the fucking hospital. Like the the one day he got it, and his fucking uh, his tongue. I think it was his tongue. It swelled swell up. Swell up in his yeah. mouth, yeah. where it was like hanging out, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. that don't happen. That that's that's not a normal occurrence, man. Yeah. You got, the book of Sirach, chapter twelve, and verse thirteen. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent, yeah. or any such as come not wild beasts? Kind. It says, who will pity? Hey, why 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 should we sympathize? Because you you trusted a, a serpent, and then it bit you. As the scripture is gonna say, man, you're playing with you're playing with fire and wild animals and expecting not to get burnt and not to get a uh, mangled, man. Yep. You know that's 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 stupid. But that's the minds of you American people. Y'all y'all are the dumbest people on the on the planet, man. History. Yeah, in yeah, history, are. you are the dumbest niggas ever, man. Yeah, that's the truth. And, and this is this is shit. this is one big like uh, one of those protesters out there. He had a big sign. That says this is not a this is not a pandemic. This is an IQ test. Yeah, <laughs> Most yeah. of these people they're yeah, they're, they're they're being proven <laughs> or being shown to to, to uh, basically it's being proven that majority of you American sheep are, are retards. Man. You're not you're not bright at all, and it also coincides with the scripture saying that gross darkness will cover the people. You're in gross darkness, man. Blind, blindness. Blindness. That was probably what would allow you to remain blind. Yeah. Now, if you look at that word going back to uh, 1 Timothy, where he says, uh, Old Timothy, keep which is committed to thy trust, mm -hmm. and, and basically abstain from uh, 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 sciences, falsely so, so called. Cool. That word science is from the Greek word gnosis, or gnosis. Mm -hmm. And it means knowledge, the general knowledge, understanding, the deeper, more perfect, and enlarged knowledge Down of this. <laughs> of this religion such as belongs to the more advanced especially of things lawful and unlawful hey it goes from from the level of common sense to deep wisdom in these scriptures and deep wisdom is of the earth and life which we know in wisdom of solomon the sixth and seventh chapter breaks it down to you that wisdom will give you all of that type of knowledge that you're talking that science the ability to know the true science Yep. The real Somebody science, the, the scriptures, uh, seven, is, is, uh, is true science, because this is uh, our seven, knowledge, seven. man. Knowledge and wisdom is, is the stability, man. Okay. I have a word as well. This word is a prognosis from the online Adam Dictionary. It Gnosis. says a forecast of the probable course Gnosis. and termination of a case of a disease, the foreknowledge of medicine. Being able to discern, so we gotta get that. Yep. I'm out here. Hey, Khan, because really you people are sick, man. Hey, because what? You're under the spell and under witchcraft of Esau. And you, you were you were seduced by the potion that he's spreading throughout the, the, the world. And then what? You, you you took the literal potion, man, which got you even more sick. You know? Yeah, he got you intoxicated with the wine. Kind. And then he gave you the potion. Kind. Scripture is part of the point of the lies. Positions of no value. That's right, bro. Yeah. Kind. Hey, because what a physician is, is is doing what a physician is one who uses the herbs hey, to, 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 to give to someone may come up with a bunch of different uh, herb concoctions or different uh, balms or, or uh, herbal drinks or supplements and things of that sort hey, to heal the body man yeah, he'll tell you to fast he'll tell you to, to do take a spider web and wrap it around that thing and you know what i'm saying and put two leaves of this type of eucalyptus on it you, he, but it'll make you whole yeah, versus just put a band-aid, a, a temporary fix. It, it heals you completely. And that's what and that's what Yahweh Bashim al Shai has us doing through him, man. Hey, right. cause what? This is this is where you come, hey, those that want to be healed, man. Oh. What, what was the word? Prognosis you brought out? Yeah, prognosis. Kind. Yeah, because it's, 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 like, it's, it's the spiritual healing. That's right, bro. That our people 